Hey guys, it's Billy GG coming at y'all with another Banger Mouse review. Today, guys, we're going over the Model O Pro Wireless and Blue Links Edition. And we're going to talk about a Glorious as a company. We're going to talk about this mouse. We're going to talk about a lot of things today. So just buckle in and get ready for it. So starting off with the Glorious Model O Pro, I did do a box opening video. It's actually a very good mouse. I've been gaming hard on it for about five days. I was going to get the review out sooner, but I changed my mind. I just wanted to play because I've heard a lot of bad things about Glorious Mice, even though myself personally, I've never had a bad experience with them. Now, I have had two Model Ds. I'd had to warranty out, but that was my fault and not Glorious's fault. And they still replaced them anyway. So I like Glorious as a company. I think they're pretty good. But what they're doing with these limited run mouses, I'm not a big fan of. I feel like it should be readily available to everybody. I do not think they should be taking a final mouse aspect in the game. Uh, Glorious started off as a company that was easy and friendly for everybody. Cheap mouses, decent products. And uh, now they're trying to do like a final mouse type of thing. I'm hoping it's just for the colorways. I'm hoping they do their original white and black soon and just make this their new flagship because they're definitely better or at least i can't speak for the model d pro yet but i, I know the model o pro is definitely better than the model o uh, wireless so let's get into this mouse real quick and then we'll talk more about glorious so this mouse is rocking the kel point 8.0 switches like all their other mouses so i mean it sounds very good no problems there scroll wheel is actually very much improved off all the other glorious scroll wheels that it doesn't feel as sticky it feels very good very good bump here their side buttons don't feel as crispy but they're very good they're good for fortnite at least any other game it really doesn't matter but for fortnite they're very decent you flip it to the bottom you have your bamp sensor 3070 very good i do wish they put a 3395 in here since uh, you know that's what pulsar and other companies are moving to but it's still a 3070 and it, it'll work. You really can't tell a difference. Um, got the feet, same feet here. And remember, if you do have a copy or any glorious mouse, take the blue strips off your feet. I see a lot of people not taking the blue strips off their feet. You have to, or the mouse will not slide right. Uh, I do wish they would have put a sensor ring here, but they didn't. And then other than that, man, it's just like the Model O, just less holes, no holes. Um, that little stress test I did in my box opening video, when I pressed down on here, it still does it, but it does not do it in game. You never press this hard in game to uh, actuate or to, you know, bend the shell. So anyway, let's get into some of the comments I got on that box opening video. Saying glorious junk mouse is for noobs, all these problems. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about. Or they just like to bully other people that like the product. Uh, the double click issue is because people... Out the box, all glorious mice are set up at 10 milliseconds debounce. So a lot of people put them at zero. I put mine at zero. And even glorious states that sometimes it will cause your mouse to double click. So put it at two or four and the mouse will not double click. Same thing with the click latency people are talking about. If you leave it at 10 milliseconds, it's going to have a higher click latency as if you put it at zero, two or four. It's the same thing with pulsar mice. Pulsar mice are the same way. And I believe Rocket Mouse, uh, not rock, Rocket Mice are the same way as well. So if you do that, you shouldn't have a problem. I've never had a Glorious Mouse double click. But I do feel like the company's taking the wrong turn with uh, these limited time drops. I, like I said, man, I hope that they do make this mouse readily available in the future in their white and black. Same thing with the, the One Pro series and the Model D Pro. Um, it is a very good mouse. Uh, I do love the coating on it. I do prefer this or like a Pulsar X2 over a, 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 a Superlight. I do, though, prefer a Viper V2 Pro over a Glorious Model O. I feel like the optical switches and the new, what is it, the Fusion, the Focus Pro sensor is a little bit better than the 3070. Uh, for $50 more, I just think that a Razer mouse will last you longer than a Glorious mouse just because the clicks are rated higher. I mean, I've had a model, um, uh, uh, Death Adder V2 Pro for like five years, no problems. Um, but other than that, guys, I, this is a great mouse. I hope Glorious changes their mind in the future about some of the things they're doing and not take the final mouse route. But if y'all have any questions, man, feel free to comment. Please guys subscribe and like the video, it helps out a ton. And let me know any versus videos or any other mouse reviews. I think I'm gonna start doing a throwback mouse review type of thing. So give me some old throwbacks to try to get and uh, review. I think I'm gonna start with the G402. 
because that was the first gaming mouse I ever bought that I really enjoyed. And then I think it was the Death Adder V2 after that. So like I said, man, I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting on the channel. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more, guys. Peace.